In the beginning. There have been many creation stories, but the best known in Western civilization is the Judeo-Christian Genesis story. Well, many people love this story, but there are some who think it is time for updating and revision. And that was the Genesis of Genesis, revisited and revised. Thank you all for coming. What's up? Reading of the will. You're so mysterious. Had to get your curiosity up. Got you here, didn't it? Okay, here goes. I got this idea for doing an ensemble piece from hearing actors complain about the dearth of good scripts. I, I like the idea of ensemble material development, so, so I'm hoping you folks would like to do the same thing. Sure, I've got lots of ideas, but not the discipline to whip them into shape. And I, I love to do creative writing, but I don't have the patience to sit alone and work by myself like a writer has to do. So by combining our efforts, we can do things we can never accomplish alone. Yeah. Sounds like fun. I'll handle, I'll handle the comedy department. I'll be a resident philosopher. Count on me to make sure that we're politically correct. I don't, I don't know what I can contribute. Well, you're great at improvisation, and we'll be doing a lot of that. I'd like to do a rewrite of the Genesis creation story. Why not? It's a rewrite itself. The Judeo-Christian creation story is based on a lot of creation stories that predated it. Oh, I like the idea of revising that old Adam and Eve myth. Oh, I relish the opportunity of exposing the most politically incorrect story I can think of. It's got my vote. Okay, I'm in. What about a title? A title is what draws people in. Genesis revisited and revised. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. okay, let's get to work. Sounds... Eve wasn't Adam's first wife. That's right, Lilith was. I never heard of Lilith. Well, Lilith got replaced by a docile Eve because she was an independent woman who expected to be treated as an equal. The patriarchs couldn't handle that. Lilith is a part of Jewish folklore, lots of cautionary tales about her. She's portrayed as a bad witch. Well, witch might be too drastic, but uh, she does sound like more of a handful than Adam or any man would want to deal with. That's what you men say about any independent, self-respecting woman. Mia culpa, just kidding. Enough squabbling, let's get to work. We should look at some of the mythology that preceded Genesis. So much of that story is based on prior belief systems. Uh, Apparently, you're familiar with a lot of that material, Dana. Aren't we lucky to have a resident scholar in the group? <laughs> Makes a blessing. Uh, there are lots of creation stories. Why don't we look at some of the others no, before no, we No, no, no. We're going to focus on the one most familiar in Western civilization, the Adam and Eve version. That's the one that most needs revising. What God did to Eve, and Adam's too, even though a lot right, of them don't right, realize right. it. Right, so we're going to rectify some of that damage. Good. We can't tamper too much. A, a lot of people love that story. Why don't we do something less controversial? Controversial is good. It gets attention. Let's mm -hmm. do it. I'd still like to look at some of the other creation stories. There's been some pretty fascinating mythology. But now we've arrived at a theology that's generally accepted. Generally accepted? There are so many different religious systems today, world's greatest source of warfare. One person's theology is another's mythology. I, I, I don't know about this. I, I, don't, I don't think that I should be I, you know, I, staying I'd here. really like you to do this, Agatha. But if you're uncomfortable with it... We can do something else? Why don't we do no, no, a story no, 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 about... No, 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 The rest of us want to do this. If you don't, you can join us later for some other project. My family and friends would be shocked if I got up on a stage and questioned the creation story. You decide. Well, can I sit in and listen? So sure. you're curious? Not totally sold on the uh, Adam and Eve fable? I pride myself on having an open mind. Not totally sold. All right, all right, let's get started. First, let's look at the original story. That uh, talking snake was a pretty funny idea. The snake was symbolic. It represented wisdom and healing in ancient cultures. The patriarchs had a discredit wisdom for ordinary folk uh, to empower themselves. No, uh, the snake is actually a very unfunny idea. Well, the story as a whole is silly. All the information that has been discovered about the evolution of this planet and the human race discredits that story totally. Only for the rational. Creationists still insist on teaching that myth is truth. That's what inspired me to tackle this project. Kids that accept the creation story as fact will believe anything. Y you can't s sustain a democracy with citizens like that. The children who actually believe this stuff will accept any irrational idea. I'm feeling very uncomfortable with this discussion. Maybe I should leave. Maybe you should stay. You said you had an open mind. Listen to some contrary ideas. Then you can decide that Genesis is a menace or you can continue to hold it to your breast. And the mighty prince. Oh, cork it, Mark. Well, Agatha? All right, I'll listen. Good. 
But I think this is much ado about nothing. Nothing? After yes. all that vicious story has done to all the eaves in the world down through the centuries. We should analyze the subject matter first. This creation story is a parable designed to teach in a subliminal way, a prescribed way for people to act. According to the writers. According to God. Uh, human beings wrote the Bible and all religious books. That's been well established. I knew that. But Good for you. God inspired them. So they said. Ambition inspired them. It was a power play. If she's going to sit there and hey, attack everything you the that chance, we need. Gives you a chance to show her a different viewpoint. Her playing to an open mind is so funny. As I was saying, biblical myths are designed to set patterns for behavior. Adam and Eve are eponymous. Upon a what? Do you have to display your scholarly vocabulary at every opportunity, Dana? Speak English, please. I'm sorry. Adam represents all mankind. Eve represents womankind. Both equally important, humankind. Not according to the man upstairs. And not according to the patriarchal paradigm. Huh? Pattern. But originally, the deities were goddesses. Later, there were both gods and goddesses. Remember the Greek pantheon? And the mm -hmm. Roman. We had all of that mythology in school, didn't you, Agatha? Of course. What's that got to do with theology? What's the difference? Knock it off, both of you. You're wasting time. Sorry. Why don't we start improvising our revision? Okay. Are you with us, Agatha? I'll give it a whirl. Good. You're a natural for Eve. Okay. Uh, Dana should be the snake. Yeah. Oh, and Francis. Uh, Francis is Lilla. I'll be God. Uh, you'll be Adam. Mm -hmm. Figure, so you get to be God. No. Then uh, who? Oh, don't worry about it. He's probably in the garden. <laughs> Are you saying the real God? Well, you're a believer, aren't you? Uh, didn't I hear you saying something once about going all to All right, all right, let's get the show on the road. Adam, Eve, step out into the garden. Okay, go. Well, Eve, we're getting a second chance, so don't make the same mistake, and maybe we can stay here in paradise forever. I don't know. It's not as big and beautiful as I remembered, and nothing ever changes. It might get boring. You bet it would get boring. And what's so great about being stupid? That's the house rule, remember. Who's she? Mm. I'm Lilith, Adam's first wife. Imposter! Get out! Eve was the first woman. Oh, no, Ray. That was your second script, chapter 2, verse 22. Your first script, chapter 1, verse 27, goes, da -di -da -di -da, the male and female created he them, both at the same time. Oh, you had to be eliminated, uppity smart mouth woman. <laughs> and where do you get this Ray stuff, anyway? <laughs> Uh, address me as Almighty God, or the Lord. Where'd you get this Ray stuff, anyhow? Well, you started off as the sun god, so I figured, <laughs> Ray, you've had all kinds of names, some female. Oh, get out, out of my garden. With pleasure, when I'm ready. Oh. What a terrible woman, tell her to leave. She won't pay any attention to God. What chance do I have? I'm your friend, Eve. I'm going to help you. Listen. Oh, like I did with the snake. Did someone call? No, no, go away. I should never have listened to you. That's right. The snake works for Satan. You listen to him, and look what happened. I work for Satan. You're really mixed up. I don't work for Satan. But if I did, Satan works for God. What do you mean Satan works for God? That's ridiculous. God would be out of business without Satan, sin, and sex. The whole religion industry. We'd be bankrupt. Boy, Eve, even though you ate from the tree of knowledge, you have got a lot to learn. I'm so confused. It would be so much better if I just let God... Let go, is... let God. You yes. want to let God and his male clones run your life? Don't go brainwashing Eve, Lilith. I like her just the way she is. Don't have to change you. Change is inevitable. Why not accept that and take a hand in it? Are you talking to me? It, uh, to everyone. Listen to Snake, Eve. There is much wisdom. The wisdom is reserved to me and to the priest class. Listen to me and to your priest. And where has that ever gotten us? 
And furthermore, you say we shouldn't use our brains. So why did you give them to us, Ray? Oh, again with the Ray. Answer my question. And if you didn't want us to have sex or have children in a particular way, why did you give us... A silence, woman! Get out of here! Oh, God, you all-powerful God. You must be able to get her out. Dear God, please get her out. She's giving me a headache. Oh, no, not another headache. Out, out, all of you. And if you don't learn to obey me, I will drown you all. Oh, pretty unbecoming for a loving God. Uh, not all, God. You better save some seed for replanting. Remember how tough it was to create life out of dust? OK. I'll spare two of each speech. What? No person per? Inferno female! You're not wanted! Why don't you just disappear? You can't make me disappear. That's what bugs you and your macho male followers. Time out! I think we ought to stop here and see where we're going with this. Fran Francis is going overboard. Her Lilith is going to antagonize a lot of people. She's being the kind of woman that gives women a bad All right, family. settle down. Let, let's take a break now. Let's go inside and have some refreshments. Okay. Okay. Coming back? No, thank you. I have some creative writing to do out here. Was that guy? Oh, just one of my imaginary friends. <laughs> All right, uh, how are we doing? What do you think, Adam? Mark. <laughs> Whatever. I kind of like feisty women. You have some whim. I think it's good to show that women don't have to be Eves, willing to accept blame for everything. The eternal support with no life of her own. Even when the Eves are willing to play that role, it's caused a lot of problems. I know that patriarchy is hard on women. But the upside is men have to work hard to take care of us women. You got a man working hard to take care of you? Well, I don't choose that anymore. So you don't agree with the Genesis pattern either? I like having the option. If I decide to find a man to take care of me and get out of the rat race, I can. That's unfair. Why? Mm -hmm. In this day and age, you have the option, too. You can be a house husband. Mm -hmm. Not that simple. People look at you funny when a man does that. I know. Some do. I'm being the devil's advocate. It's a no-win situation for both sexes if we let ourselves be trapped in gender boxes. It, it cheats both men and women. It cheats society as a whole. There is so much talent wasted fitting round pegs into square holes. Square pegs into round holes. You got the saying backwards. So you're in agreement with what we're doing, Aggie? I didn't say that. I just corrected your quotation. I, I don't, I don't know. I hate to rile people up. So many people are sensitive about tampering with the holy book. This is getting a little too heavy for me. I thought we'd have some fun with this. Gosh, I don't know. I, I, I don't think this is my thing. It's getting too serious. I want to do more comedy. I, I admire where you're coming from, Alex, but, but I, I don't think that I should continue with this. I, I mean, I have a lot of family and friends who'd, who'd be shocked. Don't I mean, they they'd know wonder... that you're an actor? You're playing a character. They expect me to exercise some discretion in my choice of roles. I don't do nudity. Does that mean that you veil your mind, too? I just don't think this is for me. Don't rush to judgment. Stay with us. You too, Mark. Well, if only out of curiosity. Some of you have some pretty far out <laughs> ideas. OK, I'll stay and see what happens. Great. Agatha? Yeah, come on, Agatha. You, you, you stay too. I may need an ally with all these heretics. Come on, Aggie, it'll be fun. We may give the, 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 these, these heretics a hard time. <laughs> Change the whole approach. Not if I can help it. All right, Mark. I won't leave you here all alone. Okay, Alex. I'll stay. Wonderful. Shall we get back into character? I want Lilith to speak for all women who have been limited, victimized. I want the character assassination to stop. But why do you have to be so abrasive? You turn a lot of people off with that style, and then they don't hear what you want them to hear. So what have you accomplished? Well said. What do you Thank think, you. Francis? I can tone it down a little. Good. I think that was a valid criticism, Thank Agatha. You. What else? Anyone? Um, I don't get enough lines. Snake represents wisdom. I should say more wise things. You're creating your own part. Add more wisdom. Audiences love that. Don't stop the, the action with a lecture series. I'll bounce it out later. Let's get all the ideas out on the table. So I can throw in a few jokes? Sure, if they fit, we'll use them. Did you really think I was wimpy, Mark? <laughs> Worried that Lilith Ooh. might get Adam back? Absolutely not. If there's one thing I'm...